choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Brother Ikechuku Enya Oko. I reside here in Lagos. I want to testify how the God of choosing has arrested me through an apron. Hey! Tag what God has done. Are determined what, to be done. What God has determined to do. The last crusade that we just had. Thank choosing you, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In fact, I came here with a truck loaded with full of troubles, problems, and frustration. But the God of choosing has decided to wipe away my tears one after the other. Power! Hey! Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah! I want to first of all thank God for giving me a genuine salvation. Clap on to God of the chosen. I think that is my best testimony for the year and for the rest of my life. I've been having this problem, burden of financial indebtedness that I collected about six or seven years ago from UBA Bank in Calabar. They call it no wahala loan, but the loan gave me a whole lot of wahala. <laughs> Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I collected that loan, invested it in a business. The business crashed. I lost my job. The next thing, they started looking for me. Before I would know what happened, they arrested my account officer and they get to me. They arrested me. They flew me from all the way from Calabar to Banti here in Lagos. Hmm. I stayed three good weeks there. I had to sell some of my properties to see how I can liquidate the loan. I tried my best. It was remaining substantial amount, about 500 and something thousand. In fact, they decided to leave me to go and be, I should promise how I should be paying the loan. In the course of that, I lost my family. My family, my wife left me. I had to relocate to Lagos here. I came here through a brother that got a job, a driving job for me. I've been managing that job. But I keep on receiving that alert, that debit alert of that bank for years. So I started to just go away with that line and forget about the, the loan. Susan, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, as I was walking down, there was another offer came through my company. To, it's a soft one. They say we should collect the loan. But all my colleagues have collected that loan. I went there to collect my own. They say, no, I cannot assess this loan because I am indebted to one financial institution. I say, yes, I'm indebted to UBA. They said they can, there's nothing they can do except I go there and clear that loan. I went there one day. I went to the bank. I met the receptionist. I told her, please, I want to, I have an, uh, an old account with your bank. I want to know how much am I really owing them so that I can be paying small, small. She said that she's coming. She asked me about the account number. I gave them the account number. She logged in the account. But she will look at the system. She will look at me. She said, when did you open the account? I said, in Calabar, what year? I told her. She will look at the system. She will look at me. In fact, she went up to upstairs. I said, this one, I trouble again, no. In fact, before, when she came back, she asked me, she was making call. I said, her. Maybe uh, they are calling police for me again, no? In fact, I, tell, I just tell her that I want to ease myself. I just went out of that bank. Before they know it, I have... I have, I have choose it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So that thing has been bothering me until I met that brother that was passing on the way. I saw him wearing that apron on the third of January. What God that determined shall be done. Yes. I now asked him, brother, 
when are you having this program? He said it's on the fourth. In fact, something just ministered to me that I should key into that program. He now gave me a flyer. I told him, brother, this is just all though, and I've, I don't have any money with me. I don't know how I will be sustaining from myself from Okoko to Ijecha here for that four days. He said, I should know what, I should just come. I should just come. I summoned courage that day after closing from work. On the third self, I came here before the program. When I came in here, I saw uh, me that I've been passing this Ijecha, seeing people wearing apron. I don't know that, that something great is happening here. Hmm. Ah, I slept here. You the slept night, here? Yes, on the third. Hmm. There was a heavy downpour that third. Yes, I remember. Yes, I remember. So, on the fourth, properly the program started. After the first ministration, ah, something happened in my life. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah! After the program, the second day, I went after the program, I met the brother. I said, brother, hmm. oh, wow, I'm not going, no. I will stay here. He said, okay, no problem. Hmm. He took me to the bathroom, gave me, bought some clothes up and soap. He said, I should go and take my bath. He gave me money to go and eat. Hmm. I said, I'm not going. I stayed here. The second day, I saw the move of God again. In fact, after that second day, I met him. I said, brother, please, I want to be a choosing. Hey! <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, I should wait. I should just wait. There's no problem. In fact, he encouraged me. In fact, I fell at home. I refused to go again. <laughs> After the fourth day, until on Sunday, the, the grand finale, I said, I'm not going. <laughs> I came back on Monday. They, they called me, said, Where are you? I said, I'm still in church. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Hey, hey. He said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And now he took me to a stand there. He bought this prayer book for me. He bought me a Bible, bought an apron. He said, I will not wear that one. What I will wear is that it is over. Hmm. I, said, I said, but this is, there are this the program that we say, no, I should wear this one. It is over. Hmm. I took the apron home. I went home. I came back uh, on Wednesday for newcomers class. Class. Yes. After the class, Papa came. He gave us some palliative. Yes. He <laughs> said, "Would you pray? Anything you want the money? Don't eat it. Oh, anything you want to invest it in your business? Invest it in your, anything you want to want to do with it? Use it." I said, "Me, I don't have business. I don't know what to do." I remember something just ministered to me. You are owing UBA. I said, okay, let me just go and I rub the money. I went and I went outside there. I said, I have a saving account with UBA. I said, pay in this money to my U UBA account. I paid it. And that day, Papa said, we should raise our palliative up and I, I should write three prayer requests. I said, God, please cancel this loan for me. Hmm. Give me financial breakthrough and reconcile me with my family. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I prayed that, when we raised the, 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 the palliative up, Papa made mention that there's somebody here, God has canceled your debt. Hey! 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 <laughs> Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Reluctantly, ah, I, I believe. I believe. I say, Amen. So I went back home. I was still praying with that my that my small uh, POS received. Praying. I came back again on Thursday. On Thursday, the deliverance service. After the deliverance service, he made mention again because that day he anchored his, his uh, this thing teaching that we should wait until your change come. Job 14, 14. I never remember. I never forget that portion. So I, I pray. He said, would you raise our prayer point again? I still remember that my uh, leaflet. I, read, I lifted it up again. After administration, he said again, there's somebody here. God has canceled your debt. Hey! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On Friday, I summoned courage. I went to UBA. 
I tell them that look, I I came here, I want to know how much am I owing, how much, how much is my indebtedness with your bank? I want to clear the loan. The man said, okay. He he started making inquiry. He said, I should bring my car number. He I brought my car number. He he sent a mail, he sent a mail, he sent a mail, he said, okay, I should go. They are requesting for a memo balance that I should go and come back on Monday. That was on Friday. I came back, no, that Monday I did not go, on Tuesday. And he said, you will get back to me. So on, when, on, on Wednesday, I went back to them. I said, ah, but you say you will get back to me. What happened now? What is the problem? He said, no, that he has been trying to call me since, that my number is not reachable. That in fact, I don't have any problem, that I should just go and pay 200 Naira. Hey! <laughs> Hey! Hey! 200 naira or 200,000? That's what I asked him. I said, you say 2 million or 2... I asked him, you say 2 million or 200,000 or 200... He said, my money is just 200 and something naira now. I should go and pay that money. Hey! Hey, hey! Power! Hey, hey! Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah! I... I left the place, I came, I made that my brother. I, think I, I said, something is happening now. Hmm. I don't understand what these people are saying. They say, I should, it's only 200 naira I'm, I'm owing. They hmm. say, the, the bank, I say, okay, I should go and bring my NEPA bill, my passport, and a valid ID card so that they will up, up, update their account for me immediately. Immediately, I rush home, I brought those items, I gave them. They now validate the account. I say, no, I'm not satisfied. Let me pay in money there, let me, where I will see a lot of uh, indebtedness. I pay 100 naira. I didn't see, it's only 100 naira that I saw there. Should praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say I'm not satisfied that they requested for the, the bank that I want to access facility. They're, they're requesting for letter of non-indebtedness. You push, you, if you say you have cleared the loan, you push, you give me the letter. They say no problem, I should go, they will get back to me. Lord and behold, on Thursday, Susan, do you know what happened? You want to hear? On Thursday, this Thursday, when the wing of power. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. In fact, that day, that day, he did not preach. He, he came, he, he changed his mind, he said he will not preach, that we should go and bring souls. Later, he said he's just going to, he's going to give us the prayer bowl. They just the introduction. So after everything, we are singing. Everybody was dancing here. The wind of power. The wind of. He said when the power blow you, all your problem will be over. In fact, my phone was ringing in my pocket. <laughs> I, I said, who is calling me now? Immediately, I took out the phone. And I said, are you brother? Are you Mr. Ikechuku? I said, yes. He said, I'm calling from UBA. Your letter of not indebtedness has been issued. Hey! That I should come and collect it. Hey! Choose him, praise the Lord. You are worthy, so, oh Lord. Daddy, you are worthy to sit on the throne. God has chosen you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, oh Lord. Daddy, you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy. God has chosen you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, oh Lord. Daddy, you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy. 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 Amen. Amen. Give God a big clap offering. Clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. In fact, I, I want to appreciate God for this great testimony. Hmm. Then, my last and Can and you show us that letter again? Letter of non-indebtedness. Look at it. Ordinarily, that debt of five hundred and something thousand. I don't know the amount because that was about five or six years ago. 
It should have been increasing. Yes. And multiplying in interest and all that. Yes. But the pastor said your debt has been cancelled. I mentioned it again. Two times, two and times. Two times. Yes. And everything came down to zero. Yes, 200 naira is zero. Clap unto God and appreciate. Clap unto this great God. Magnify him. He confirms every word spoken by the pastor or chosen. Thank you, Father. Be a chosen and take over. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In fact, I am just 25 days old in this ministry. Hmm. But I want to tell you that I'm proud to be a choosing. Power. Because what God has started in my life, I don't think, I, I, I don't know how to start. I've been separated with my family for more than seven years now. Hmm. That my wife that left me, I just put up a call. After hearing so many messages from daddy here that, in fact, I decided to remarry. But when I came here, the undiluted word of God hit me. Hmm. He said it's a great sin to take another wife. Hmm. In fact, I decided to summon courage and call my wife. In fact, we have reconciled. Power! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Give God a very big clap offering. Thank you, Father. God is the God of the chosen. He answered prayer, and all things are possible. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to confirm the word of our Papa, that Matthew 6, 33, that said that we should, first, we should seek his kingdom first. Hmm. And all his righteousness, all that things shall be added. This is a trouble that has been bothering me. So I just want to encourage those that are coming here for the first time. I came like you people too, as a newcomer. 25 days ago. Yes. So hmm. my only advice is that I just allow Jesus to come on board. Because when I read that portion, Luke 5, verse 3, how Simon, how they toiled all through night and day without catching anything. But when they allow the master to come on board, he asks them to, to launch a little deep for a ride and launch their net. The Bible says that their net, they catch so that their net were even breaking. Hmm. And he later made them features of men. Hmm. So I want to give God the glory for really, who am I? Changing my life in just three weeks. Hmm. That I can now boost and carry my Bible and read and listen to the word of God. Walk it's around all, freely. It's only God that can do it. Hmm. So at this juncture, I want to really pray for my daddy in the Lord. That may God continue to strengthen him. That none of his word that come out from his word shall go unveil. He must fulfill its purpose on us in the name of Jesus. And I want to pray for every choosing worldwide and myself and my entire family. Heaven at last. Amen. I cover my testimony with the precious blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Can Jesus. I reconfirm? You said that even when Pastor made that word of knowledge, death is cancelled. You said he reluctantly said amen. I don't know whether it's whether I'm right. Yes, yes. You 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 were not sure. I, 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 I didn't believe it. Uh, how will they cancel that debt of uh, 